South Australia. I'm here with a wig review for Vienna Roast by Beltres and the colour that you're looking at here is cola with cherry. Now I wanted to do this a little bit differently today because when you take a wig out of a box sometimes like with this one and particularly with curly wigs sometimes they look a little bit wiggy. This one looks wiggy. We need to change that. How do you change that? Well it's actually not that hard. I'm going to use just my fingers and a brush. And we're gonna see if we can make this look a little bit less wiggy. Now, that's already looking a thousand times better. And literally all I've done, and, and I will admit that I did sort of go off about a metre in that direction because I have a mirror. <laughs> and doing it into the camera is really hard. So I actually went off to the mirror and I did a little bit of it there. Um, so basically just with my fingers and with a brush or a comb, white tooth comb, I prefer to use uh, brushes like this that are metal or that are wood. The reason being, the plastic uh, on synthetic will create static. And that's the last thing I need, particularly here when I'm in air conditioning and everything feels like it's electrified. I don't want any more static. So just by doing that already, look how much softer that looks. Like we had just this puffy curled mess when it came out of the box. Not anymore. This is really starting to settle now. Um, and the more that you wear something like this, particularly a curly style, the more it's going to flow for you. And straight away, look at that. Like, it didn't look like that before. It looked like <coughs> And now it's just actually beautiful. All right, now that we've done that, let me give you a 360 of Vienna Roast in Cold with Cherry so that you can have a look. So Vienna Roast is one of Beltress's most popular styles. Um, and the reason for that is, well, there's a couple of reasons. This gorgeous curl pattern, which, you know, once you loosen it up from being a wiggy mess, is really, really cute. It's not too in your face curly, but it still gives you this humper, you know, like it's, it's not for the faint hearted. Look at that, it's fantastic. A lot of times when you get the, sort of this curly or wavy styles, they're very understated, they, they, they don't give you sort of a, a bite. This one does. Gives you a really great bite. But without being, whoof, you know, I mean, I don't feel like very full It actually feels quite Hollywoodish, And a lot of Beltress styles do. They've got sort of that Hollywood glam kind of feel about them. And this is another one like that. Um, she has a monofilament side part, okay, um, a lace front, at the front here. So let me just come forward and show you a little bit of that. That's pretty good. Come a bit closer. There we go. Uh, great curls. Good length too. This is heat friendly. So remember the Beltress fibres uh, in the cafe collection, all heat friendly. So if you really wanted to, you could take this curl out. Um, but as I always say when I'm reviewing Beltress wigs, and particularly the curly ones, the caveat is whatever you do, you have to put this back in. So if you really like this curl and you take it out because you want to try it straight, you can't wash it and then the curls will come back because that, that's not the way it works. If you take them out with your heat tools, they're gone. 
So you have to put them back in manually. So please, please bear that in mind if you're going to start playing with some of these curl patterns because I, I, would, I don't really understand why you would want to take a curl pattern like this out. I mean, if you want a straight wig, go on buy a straight wig. Um, but the curl pattern to me and the way that this curls is the, is the draw card of this style. It's a really, really great, fun, happy style. A lot of the Beltre styles are just really happy. You know, they make you feel good. How good does that make you feel? It's fantastic. There is quite a bit of density here. Like, it's not a low density style, I don't think. I mean, it, bell dress generally are lower density, but there is quite a bit here. Like, a, but a part of the reason for that, a huge part of the reason is the curls. So if I do the Prince Charles test here, yeah, I'm pushing it. But that's mainly because of the curls. You know, they, they're giving you this body that kind of fluffs around here. So if you've got like a triangle face and you, you've got a wide face down here, I wouldn't be wearing this style. Um, you'd want something that probably curls a little bit higher up. Um, or you'd want to sort of pull these curls up so that they're, they're sort of higher. Um, but it sits just above the shoulders, so you're not going to get as much um, friction, uh, which is the absolute enemy of heat-friendly fibres. Right? Friction is their enemy because the heat is what changes them and the heat can mat the fibres quite easily. So something like this that sits above your shoulders, brilliant, because it's not going to give you as much friction. Okay. So those fibres are going to last a lot longer. Okay, so let me give you a couple of measurements, but take these with a dose of salt because the measurements are taken without the curls in them. All right. um, so you're looking at a crown down measurement of 30, 30 and a half centimetres. You're looking at a side measurement of 25.4 centimetres and the nape is just under 13, about 12.5. So for me, that's sitting just on or just beneath my shoulders. Uh, if you've got a longer neck and a longer face, then it's going to sit at a different height to you. Um, but if you're like me and you're a little, little pokey head person, um, then that's about where it's going to sit. I will give the caveat that this cap is quite large. For me, it's quite large. I've adjusted it inwards to make it sit a little bit better. But I still feel like on the sides here, you can see where that's coming down with that very very low I feel like it's it's resting for me it rests a little bit too close to my ears and that's because I have a pokey head so I would say this runs true to average um, but if you've got a slightly larger head I would venture to say this might fit you quite well actually I say it's true to average um, so if you've got a really small head this is probably not the style for you um, but it, it does seem to fit true to average let me take her off and I'll show you the cap construction. So we're looking at the inside of the cap on Vienna Roast by Beltress in the colour Cola with Cherry. You can see straight away we've got a monofilament side part here, which is quite generous. So I've got about two and a half of my fingers will fit into that. It doesn't go a huge long way back, but it does have this really nice felt around the outsides to make it a bit more comfortable. You've got a temple to temple lace front here, which is slightly contoured. Um, in here you've got a little bit of permatease, um, but it's not really a huge amount, um, but it will give you a little bit of body if that's what you'd like. Uh, we have a felt ear tabs over here, and you can see how much of the hair is blended into that to, to cover them, which is really great. It's good coverage there. Um, you've got, doesn't have an extended nape underneath this wefting, uh, but it has a just as kind of like a bra strap, so you pull it tighter um, to make it tighter on your head. It just makes such a difference when you start, you know, moving it around. And bear that in mind when you do get a wig. Wigs need training, okay? When you pull something out of the box, there are so many times where you can literally pull it out of the box and go, ah, because you think that is not what it looks like in the picture. And there's a reason for that. It's because when they do those pictures, they really heavily style. So you've got these gorgeous models with these hairdressers that are just making these wigs go ah! And when you look at them, you think, oh, that's fantastic. I want to look like that. You're not going to look like that unless you put the work into it that they've put into it, right? And that means pulling those curls apart, you know, putting your fingers through them, taking good care of it, changing that part out, like pulling out those, those zigzags. Um, 
just putting your fingers into it to loosen it up. Um, it might mean, you know, using a little bit of product to perhaps put it off your face so that you get that flowing look. I mean, you don't have to do that with this because it's like, woo. Um, but with some styles you do. Bear that in mind. This is going to be a wig that I think is going to need some training. Um, but having said that, this is a wig that I think is just a dynamite powerhouse. Look at that. I, it's stunning. It's absolutely stunning. This is a sort of hair that I would never have had when I had hair. Um, but you put on something like this and it just makes you feel like a million bucks. And that's what one of the reasons we wear wigs. We wear them because they make us feel good. Um, and I really think that, I particularly say that about Beltress. Beltress is a happy brand. Their wigs are happy. You put on a Beltress wig and you just feel good. You know, it makes you feel fun and exciting. And I really think Vienna Roast is one of those. She's a really happy star. So there you go. This has been an out of the box making her look less wiggy review of Vienna Roast by Beltres in a really great rooted colour. This is Cola with Cherry. My name is Kat. I'm from Wick Warrior in South Australia. We are the only people in Australia who sell the full cafe collection from Beltres. So if you're interested in Vienna Roast or any other Beltres styles, check out our website. What, what, what? Dot wigwarrior.com.au Make sure you subscribe to our videos so you can watch all of our reviews about uh, styles and colours and our 360s uh, and find out everything you need to know about wigs. Until next time, take care. Bye.